Come on, struggle. Try your best. Though it won't make a difference. <laughs> oh! Okay. I'm down for that, bro. This is not bad. It should be one tapping my LRK. Yes. Oh, 41k. What is what he what is he building? Yo. What? It is time. Oh. Yo. Okay, that's one half of what I wanted. All right, Warlock, I see you. Hey, yo. Oh, let's go! 20 summons! Yes, sir! Mm. Woo! All right, we're done, boys. Pack it up. We're going home. Looks like another pity character. This is a character that might be worth the pity, man. Right? This is our this is our first iteration of our test build. No ER? I don't have a good ER build, so this is it. And we're just going to see how well she works. Because, like, you get a kill, you go back in a stealth. Who cares if we have ER or not? Right? Forget it. We don't care. It's 24.7k. I don't think he kills me. Not through escort. Pray. Pray. I might be dead. I think I'm dead. Oh, we do not die. No, sir. Okay, Landy, I need you to chill for a second. This needs to make Lilius look good. All right, let's do this. Try your best. Though it won't make a difference. Yo! Okay. I'm down for that, bro. This is not bad. You guys like that damage? One Tappa, no Kappa? I need to see this damage. So against a defense buff Lionheart, right? I burn? 7k, fuck it, I'll take it. That's not bad. And it heals us completely back to full. That's not bad. So the max damage you can do to any unit, right? Is after 16k where you get the full defense pen. Meaning this make Chloe reasonably should be like 18,000. So we're getting like maybe 50 to 70% pen on her. Let's just see how much this is. With a crit damage buff, of course. Okay, no cap. Go into this. So if you can't one-shot it, so she one-shots tanks, but she can't one-shot bruisers, right? But it, bruisers, you usually drop them low enough to activate your other units. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's do a triple Lilius game. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow, they banned one of our Liliuses. That's crazy. And okay, we're just gonna activate her right there. That's fine. And we're, we're gonna give LRK barrier. That, that's fine. You know what's not fine? This damage. Show me damage. Though it won't make a difference. It's that easy, huh? It's just that easy. This is our most like guaranteed form of damage. Oh, I didn't even need the rest of my units. Neat. Triple Lilius, boys! Let's go! <laughs> Why do I feel like we killed this Arrowell first and we're just bing chilling? She's about to be broken in RTA. Watch this. Holy sack. We get pushed. That's fine. We tank Salvo. It's fine. A few moments later. Oh, shit. That's bad. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see. We need to figure out a better way to play this. It is a mount recover, so we don't need to burn this. Let's do this. Come on, struggle. Try your best. We're basically not getting that much bonus damage here, so let's see how much damage it is at base. Wow, this blows at base. You can't kill anything squishy. That's actually kind of nuts. I mean, he kind of has one play to do this, right? Uh-oh, strips my buffs. If he didn't strip off of S2, we were bing chilling. Never mind, I, I think then he's got it. I would burn everything here. Miss. Are you dead, Dedo? I mean, he had a 50% chance to kill me, right? Holy shit, my boy is saucing. This needs to go into my... Ooh, okay. Interesting. I wonder how much damage this is. This activates a Karina for sure. But this also activates my team. Karina goes. I activate. Push. All right, I believe in my Stenny. I might be believing in my standing a little less now. If we have pen set here, it, it, it's 100% a kill, but no pen set here is a bit rough. Ooh, okay. If we flush out the Acoli here, this is huge. 
that is huge. Oh, now that damage is coming in. There we go. So you can you don't have to play aggro with her. You you're not forced to play cleave with her. If you have the right supports for the situation, because we had S2, we get her out, right? Behind mid with anti-crit. She's still fairly safe, and we still have Steny after that to close. Right? She's a really good like sub DPS. Come on, struggle. Alright, let's Try see this. It should be one tapping my LRK. Yes! Oh, 41k! What is, what, is he, what is he building? Yo! What? I was not doing 41k, bro. I know he has better damage gear than me, but what the fuck is that? What is that, S1, bro? Oh my god. It's 4.2320 on Torrent. That's, that's a little bit better than mine. I'm 4k320. Or I'm 4k300, right? I guess I just scaled up that hard. All right, I give him a Lilius showcase. I, I made no promises about him being able to kill my Landy, you know? My, my, my Landy's pretty unethical. All right, guys, so from you, from what you guys can see, this is our showcase. So far, I would say she is an extremely competent unit. I mean, we have not missed a single kill on a tank. She almost looks like she's designed to one-shot enemy tanks and then activate her passive, which CR pushes her entire team and then gives attack buff to every other unit. Depending on how your build is, Torrent set is almost 100% a necessity because it drops your HP and it lowers your HP threshold on your kill range to fully penetrate something's defense because it is a pretty big range. So the threshold is more than 16K HP. So like 24K and above Aureus holders, uh, escort users, right? They're almost always likely to get one-shotted. Now, if you saw some of our other damage, if you're hitting something that's not a straight up tank, the damage is a lot less impressive. And you almost always take those units to a little bit below half health, guaranteeing you the activation on the passive as well. Uh, but it's not going to be as good as if you can just take her. So I think the best spot to draft her in a draft is probably pick three or pick four. You can play her with almost anything. You can take her into cleave. She's great with Ahmed. Um, Otherwise, you can still play her a little bit slower and play her even with standard, like with decent support. She's not a bad unit to be cycling turn to turn with because one, she goes pretty fast. She CR pushes herself. She has built-in sustain and barriers can keep her alive for days provided you don't get stripped, which is why you either want the ER build, uh, which is something like 150 ER plus her own artifact, except you're just like 50 to 60 speed slower. Damage is pretty nice and... If you're going the ER route, you're going to want her own EE. Otherwise, Wind Rider plus a speed build is the only way you can keep your buff safe. Uh, she is okay into Landy, although she's not going to win you every single game. Um, ML Landy's still crazy like that, but you do guarantee a whole lot of damage. And if you're playing her with Lone Crescent Bologna, for example, these are going to do so much work, just popping units left and right, even through the anti-crit. Um, absolute banger of a unit. She's a great support, half support, half nuking DPS, I would say. And that that's her biggest strength.